Hey, Kelly Sparta here with Spirit Sherpa Minis. So today we're going to talk about holding your relationships lightly. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, so many of us who come from, you know, upbringings where we had uh, abandonment issues, you know, your parents got divorced, you had a, a parent who died, you had narcissistic parents or abusive parents who were never available, who who neglected you or, you know, whatever, right? All of these things and more could be options. Uh, if you have abandonment issues, then, then this one's going to be for you, okay? The, the thing here is that we get into this place where when we get into relationships, two things happen. One is that we get codependent energetically with our partners. So we mix our energy fields, right? And I've done a podcast on this in the past, so I'm not going to tell you how to unmix it because, you know, that's somewhere else and you'll find it. But uh, the other thing that happens is that we get into this very needy place because we've handed over our power to our partner because, yay, Hollywood says when we get into relationships, you have to give your power to your partner and they have to give their power to you. And now you become entirely responsible for each other's well-being. Well, you know, that's crap. Don't hand your power over to anyone ever, ever. I don't care who they are. Don't hand it over to them. Unless you are physically incapacitated, no one should be holding responsibility for your well being but you. So, why do I say that? Because inevitably, the other person will let you down. I promised you at some point. Somewhere along the way, they will let you down. Best intentions aside, they will let you down because no one is perfect. No matter how hard they try, no one is perfect. And so if you maintain responsibility for your own well-being, even if you let your partner serve in that role for you, but, the, you, but you keep the responsibility, right? They can be the one taking care of you on a regular basis. It's just not their job, right? It's your job. As long as it's your job, then you can hold your relationship in a great way. The problem is, if you give the responsibility of it to them, then you are always needy. You, you, you inherently know that something is wrong. You inherently understand that you've lost something, that you are missing something, and that you need it back from them. And so that's what what causes you to ask the endless questions of what are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Are you, are we okay? Are you, are you mad at me? Are we okay? What, what, what do you want to do? No, what do you want to do? No, no, uh, you know, I, I don't even know what I want to ask, but I need to get you to talk to me because I need whatever it is that I'm missing from you. Right. That's the energy that you get into when you've given over your power to your partner. And it's a very simple thing to take it back. You just go, they're not responsible for my, my well-being. I am. I'm responsible for my well-being. And then the inner part of your child goes, no, oh, but I know I want mommy or daddy and I want them to take care of me. And then you have to stand up and say, yes, and I am the parent who will take care of you to your own inner child, right? Because until you can do that, you're going to be in a very needy place. And you're going to hold that relationship so tightly that you're going to strangle it. And you're going to be in this place of desperation and this place of lack. And it's going to keep you in bad relationships longer because you are going to be looking at it and saying, I, I, I can't live without this person because they have your power. And that is not good, right? So when you take your power back, you can now be in a healthy relationship with that person. You can say, is this relationship healthy for me or not? And if the answer is no, you can leave. And there's no like heart attack about it. I mean, obviously you're going to do the filtering process with your energy field. And we talked about that earlier in the mini, so I'm not going to cover that, but um, you're going to want to take your energy back, but you don't have to feel like you're stuck with them and that they're the only person on the planet who can meet your needs because that is not true. There are billions of people on the planet. Statistically speaking, there have to be at least 100,000 who could meet your needs. 
This one person, not so much. They're not the only one. And in fact, if you're considering leaving them, they're probably not even one. So yeah, take your power back. Okay. Love you. Take care of you. We'll talk to you soon. And, and if this one is really resonating with you, go back to episodes 98, 99, and 100 of the full podcast. They're, they're, um, it's easier to find them on the podcast itself than on YouTube here, uh, which is the podcast is at spiritsherpapodcast.com. So if you're here on YouTube, go over to spiritsherpapodcast.com, go to episode 98, 99, and 100. If you want to do a search for them, it's the Damsel in distress, the knight in shining armor, the damsel, damsel in distress, and the two in relationship. So uh, those are the episodes, and and that will give you a lot more content about this dynamic, okay? And tell you a lot more about yourself. Yay! So, all right, we will see you next time. Uh, please share these episodes with other people if you feel like they'd be useful to them. I think pretty much everybody knows somebody who needs what I just said. So please share that with them. And thank you so much in advance for supporting the, the process of getting the word out. And I will talk to you next week or next episode. I don't know when this is coming out. <laughs> talk to you next episode. Bye.